Hey everybody, Concealed Tactics here. <clears throat> Just wanted to give you, a, I guess, a preliminary look at uh, some a holster, a new holster. Uh, I was contacted by Stephen here at Aegis Armory. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm terrible at saying names. Um, <clears throat> you guys can freeze that if you can see it. Hopefully you got all that in there. But uh, this is a new holster company out of uh, Georgia, so it's American made, and I was uh, asked to review some of his holsters. He contacted me and asked me to review some of his holsters, and uh, to be honest with you, I was really hesitant at first. I don't like uh, reviewing things that I haven't bought myself, because I don't, uh, you know, I don't think that, uh, you know, some people, I, I would assume that if they, they, they're going to ask you to review it, they expect you to give them good reviews. In my mind, I could be totally wrong. I don't know, but I've never really been contacted before, you know, too much on this subject. So I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to be really honest with you. I, you know, I will be, you know, very honest in my review. So it's not just because you're sending me a product while I review it uh, favorably. Um, and he's very nice about it and said, hey, listen, if there's any problems, contact me first and all that kind of stuff. But I do want to say, um, after receiving the product, he, they say, um, the shield is comfortable from day one, and I will tell you, uh, you know, I look at a lot of different holsters, and I'm always trying to find a holster that I'm very comfortable with, and I'm a big fan of the hybrid holsters, and uh, this is similar to your, you know, the, this is called the shield, this is similar to, you know, other styles you see in the hybrid holsters, and uh, I, I, I will tell you, I own a, a Galco King Tuck and some other, you know, other brands, that's what I started with. But that, the the Galco King Tuck probably took me two weeks to break in and make it uh, comfortable to wear. It was very stiff. It had to break in. It had to mold around my body. Uh, it took a long time. So when he told me that he wanted me to review his holsters and they're very comfortable and there was crossbead style, you know, the hybrid style, I wasn't, you know, like, okay, I'll look at it. You know what? Uh, I have to give this guy kudos and his company. Um, I got this today, earlier in the morning, and I didn't, you know, you, at first looks it's very similar, but uh, it, it's it's not. And this, I put it on, I wore it for the first five, six hours, seven hours today. Uh, I had no issues. It was comfortable from day one, just like he said. I was very, very surprised. And then I started looking at some of the options that this has compared to the King Tuck and the crossbreeds and things. And, and I, I'm, I'm starting to see why it's more comfortable. Um, one, the leather he uses is very, very good leather. It's a, it's a good leather. I, you know, and he asked me what I wanted. And this is the carbon fiber and the, uh, um, the natural leather. I'm not, you know, I'll get more details from him exactly what kind of leather probably. And a further review because I want to wear this a few weeks and I'll give you a, a real good you know breakdown because you know me if I don't, I'll wear it and if I don't like it I'll tell you I don't like it and why. Um, but I will tell you why I think it is more comfortable and some of the options here. This can be in the waistband with these clips or simply remove the screws and with these slots it can be out of the waistband. Of course you do suggest a good a good heavy belt if you're going to put it out of the waistband. But uh, so right away that is an option you're not going to get with the, the crossbreeds and the uh, um, the King Cucks, the Galcos and stuff. And I think that also adds a little bit to the flexibility of why it, it conforms to your body so quickly. And another thing is um, he doesn't have, he's got these, that, and they are adjustable on the back for different heights and different rides. But the cant on this is so much different. You would think it's not, you know, it's a few degrees different than the Galcos, but it's it's really nice and actually covers more area than the other ones with your uh with the kydex it's very very nice um and i've noticed it because i can feel that when i with the uh other ones they don't come quite up to the the guards but you can access this very nicely um and get right into the gun and the retention is very nice i um, he even says, okay, it's a little loose when you get it, but it's meant to be, so when you put a belt on everything, it tightens up. 
this is almost the perfect retention. The other ones, you got to fight a little bit to get them out and, and in and out. He's got this set up. This is my Glock 30 SF. I asked him to send it for that, and, and it works beautiful. The retention, easy to get in, easy to get out. Not too much retention, but just enough to keep it in. I mean, you can see it's not falling out right now. If I really shook it a lot, maybe I could get it out, but it's not. But you can hear it's not... It clicks, it locks, it's got good retention, but it's not overly re retentive. Now, the added pressure of the belt gives it a little bit more, um, but it's it's perfect like that. And I think another thing is nice is um, he only has one screw on the bottom here, which makes it a little bit nicer because um, depending on your pants, you know, sometimes your front's a little bit higher than your back and stuff, and it gives a little bit of opportunity to, to flex a little bit, which I think also adds to the comfort because I'll tell you I put this on and I felt like it I've been wearing it weeks already so this is a really really nice product um, I'm anxious I like I said I, I've been looking for single clip holsters I didn't think I would want a double clip holster again after uh, you know working with the other one because I said it was a little stiff as even though I had wore it for months a year that it, it didn't really uh, uh, do it wasn't really comfortable as I liked I put this on, I felt like I'd been wearing it a year already. So I was really surprised at that. Now, this is called the Shield, and it comes with the, uh, he's got instructions here, and I'll show you that. And, and just a real quick thing, I mean, look, he's got it in all these different styles of guns. If you can see all that. And uh, he's got it in, uh, you can get it in multiple colors, different colored leathers. The options, I'm, I'm actually astonished at how many options he has because most limit you on the options. The other thing he sent me, which is a really, really nice product, and I'm, I'm a big fan of this, um, and actually, this is called the uh, Guardian. And again, it comes in all different, uh, different flavors here and different guns and all the different Glocks and M&Ps and all that, but... Uh, Here's what I really like about it. It's just basically goes on and grips over your trigger. Like so. And it's got this on it. So you can hang this in a closet. You can put it between your car seats. You can throw it in your pocket. Uh, if you're doing an appendix carry style, you put this up around your belt. Loop it around your belt. And then as you draw, this will uh, disengage from the holster. And you can re-engage it later. But what I really like about it is the fact that this is a Glock. And I've had this one that's similar, but it covered the muzzle. So if I got it for a Glock 26, it could only be a Glock 26 because there's a difference in barrel length between the, 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 the trigger guard and the, uh, the muzzle. So if you get it for one style, you'd have to get one for a 19, uh, an, an SF, or whatever you're carrying. Here's what I like about this. That was my Glock 19. Jumps right into my, my 26. Here's the 30 SF. So, I only need one of these for three guns. So if I want to stick one between my car seat and, and rig it up that way, or I want to carry it in a purse, or from, from my wife, or... Whatever we need to do, one holster. I could throw this in my pocket. I'm not worried about it. the retention in it is, is very, very strong. It's not coming out. Not unless you give it a good tug. So, I just wanted everybody to see this. This is a preliminary. Um, nice little engraving there, too, uh, on the leather. Aegis Armory. I'll show the card again. If you guys want to contact him, and actually the price range, I wanted to tell you the price range. These are about $50. Um, some of the leather options and colors um, are a little bit uh, different. I'm going to give a full review on quality and what I think in about two weeks or so after wearing it. But I want to tell you right now, uh, impressed with the products, American made, very nice guy. Uh, he said he'd ship this out. He shipped it out in two, two days. I had it in two days. Um, there's his number, the website. Um, like I said, I don't rehearse this stuff. I don't. 
and, and I will tell them if it's uh, you know something I don't like about it. But to be honest, from first impressions, I'm very impressed for the price. I mean, if you're going to some of the other companies, you're paying almost double the price. And I haven't had it been as comfortable or as nice. Um, the quality of the Kydex is good. He's, uh, you know, it's buffed and polished around the edges. The quality of the leather is nice. He's got it, you know, he's got it buffed around the edges. Uh, the back side, it, this, on this is not uh, a rough texture or anything, but it's not hard. It's not a hard leather. It's not anything bad. Um, I really, I don't know the type of leather. I, I'll have to ask him because I know he's, he's using a very nice leather. It's pliable and it's not as hard as some of the other ones that I've seen. Uh, and it's not bonded between another piece of leather and things like that. So um, just a quick, I guess a preliminary look at the Aegis, Aegis Armory um, Guardian and Shield. I'm going to wear it for a few weeks. I'll give you guys a real update and a little bit more comparison of things I like and don't like or don't like about it. But at this point, I'm not seeing anything I don't like about it. Um, like I said, put it on today. First time. Wore it for uh, probably seven hours, and no issues. I, di I didn't even know it was there. It, f it felt like I'd been wearing it a year. So, uh, Concealed Tactics, just a little quick update. You guys uh, leave some comments on it. Um, but, I, you know, to, to be honest with you guys, for the price range and for the quality this guy's doing, I'm very impressed. Uh, I was really hesitant about even doing this or looking at it because I'm not a big fan of reviewing products um, you know when somebody just says here I want you to look at this and, and you know do it I'll send it to you free because I know that you know they're they're expecting a good review or something like that and I'm not one to uh, lie about what I think about a product if I don't like it I'm gonna tell you but uh, right now to be honest with you um, he he had no issues about sending me this he was very confident that he I would like it and you know what he was right I do like it. It's a very, very nice holster. I'm gonna, but I am going to wear it for, uh, like I said, wear it for a few weeks, and uh, I'm gonna experiment with this a little bit. Some more places we can use it, the Guardian, and uh, we'll get back to you. And I'll probably do a separate review on this and a separate review on this in comparison. So you guys have a good uh, day. Concealed tactics out, and uh, all right, enjoy. Tell me what you think if you got any comments. Uh, I'm like I said, it's a it's a new new product, new product line, American made. It I'm very impressed. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.